Hey everybody, it's me, Greg Manorino. How are you today? It is Thursday, April 19th, 2018, and people, just like I said yesterday in the last video that I did, this is all about the bond market right now. If you haven't already, go to my website, for which there is a link in the description of this video, and just have a look at that bond market chart. Bonds are selling off like like there's something very very wrong also while you're over there look at the chart underneath the bond market chart right side of the page I'm gonna leave this there for now um, that is the yield curve which is no more there is no more curve I mean I don't know another way to put this um, this will be ignored by the mainstream financial channels the Confederacy of Dunces you know who they are uh, they don't want to talk about this. This issue with the bond market is truly epic. Uh, and again, to put this into a perspective here, if you're new, by the Federal Reserve uh, and the powers that be getting into the bond market and rigging it the way that they have now for an entire decade has caused distortions unlike that has ever been seen before in the history of the world with regard to finance and there's going to be an incredible price to pay for this at one point uh, this this has the potential to literally rock the core of the earth I mean I don't know another way to put that either uh, we are marching straight into what could possibly be the um, the crash of all crashes and I'm not saying this is tomorrow I'm saying that this is the setup here and I cannot imagine a way out that will not cause major disruptions uh, around the world li literally and, and my question is once again who is going to be held responsible for this you know who is you and me uh, they're going to put this on our backs. Uh, I can promise you that uh, our politicians, the central bankers, no, it'll just roll off them just like the last one did. They inflated the 2008 bubble, they inflated the dot-com bubble, and every other bubble before that. This is simply a, a wealth transfer that is being set up um, when this whole thing melts down. Anyway, just let me get back on track here. So. Bonds are selling off big time, uh, and again, there is no more curve with regard to the yield curve. Go look at those charts on my website. Um, the U.S. 10-year yield, as I am doing this, is starting to creep higher. This is putting pressure on stocks. Understand, the, the suppression of interest rates for, for now, an entire decade, is what has allowed a stock market bubble to manifest itself. Now again, I'm not saying this is going to crash tomorrow or the next day. This is just a setup for what's coming down the pike here. We are, look, we're on a knife's edge. This could very well crash today, tomorrow, next week. My bet or my guess is they're going to continue to at least attempt to prop this up. Now let's talk about that real quick. Yesterday, yesterday they made two attempts to prop up that bond market. You can still see it on that chart on my website where you can see where they tried to prop it up. It didn't work. It didn't work. Bonds are bleeding off. Um, and I've always said we're going to hit a point here where they will not be able to stop the bleeding. Are we here now? I don't know. I can't say that for sure. I don't think anyone can. But we know that this point is coming. We all have got to be ready for it and aware of that fact. It's, it's really that simple. Um, what I have done, again, I have entered no new positions. You can see there's nothing here. I haven't put anything out on my social networks. I closed my last two positions. That was SPY and the Qs with phenomenal gains, almost 40% on either trade. So I'm sitting back right now watching this show because that's what this is. We need to keep our eye on that bond market. The bond market is going to tell us exactly what's going on. If we continue to see bond yields creep up like they're doing, the 10-year yield again, 2.9. As I am doing this, uh, the stock market is not going to like this. The stock market is going to suffer. What are they going to do? They're going to attempt to prop up that bond market. 
And if that doesn't work, then you're going to get in here and start buying stocks. Again, the market is fake. It's rigged. And um, again, it just bothers me to the core of my being knowing that all of this is going to correct to fair value at one time. What's going on in the bond market right now is the bond market attempting to do its only job, to, to realize the actual value of debt. What would, what, what, what would it actually be? I mean, if the Fed were not artificially suppressing interest rates, what would the cost of, it, uh, of debt be? It wouldn't be where it is now, I can promise you that. Uh, bond yields would be off this charts. So what would that do? That would put a massive amount of pressure on stocks, which would probably be a third of where they are right now. That's how twisted we, the state we're in is. Anyway, I'm going to let you go. I know this is getting kind of long-winded, but I'm going to urge you again to watch that bond market. I mean, I set up a live chart for you right on my website. It's going to tell you everything that you need to know. Forget about where the Confederacy of Dunces wants you to look. They want you to focus on the Dow Jones Industrial Average. 30 companies, that's all they want you to look at. They, it's, it's always the same. Look here, look here, don't look here. Well, they're telling you the wrong thing. You need to watch the bond market. That's the key to this entire thing. If you keep your eye on the bond market, watch that yield curve, you're going to know ahead of time what's coming down the pike. I don't know another way to put it. All right, people, look, I'm going to let you all go. Um, please go have a look at those charts on my website. If you're not watching this video on my website, right side of the page and all the way at the bottom, again, look at the yield curve, which is no more. It's, it's just gone. We don't have a curve anymore. And this, this is a very, and I cannot stress this enough either, bad economic sign because we've seen this before. When stock valuations have been where they are, or close to where they are in the past, with the yield curve where it is, we've ended up in an epic market crash. It's coming. It is coming, and there is no doubt about it. Um, and we're going to capitalize on that, I can promise you. But in the meantime, keep your eye on all this. I will see you at the end of the day.